there, I'm Lenny, and in this video I'm going to discuss Season 1, Episode 19 of The Twilight Zone, titled The Purple Testament. The original air date for this episode was February 12th, 1960. The year is 1945 in the Philippine Islands during the war. Company A, an infantry platoon in the U.S. Army, has just come back from a mission to take a bridge and they have 12 wounded and four dead among their soldiers. Captain Riker is speaking to Lieutenant Fitzgerald, and when I say Captain Riker, I'm not speaking about this badass individual right here, but this individual, Captain Riker. Captain Riker mentions to Lieutenant Fitzgerald that he seems more dazed, more out of it than usual, even though this is not the first mission that he has come back from where he has lost Men. Lieutenant Fitzgerald, or Fitz as they call him, says there's a very good reason for that. Fitz mentions to Captain Riker that last night, the night before the mission that they just came back from, while they were doing a weapons check, Fitzgerald was looking into the face of his men, and that these four men, upon looking at them, he just knew that they weren't going to make it back. There was a weird sort of light upon their face and Fitzgerald knew without a doubt these men were going to die. He wrote down the names of the soldiers that night, and upon coming back from the mission to take the bridge, those are the four soldiers that died. Uh-oh, looks like Lieutenant Fitzgerald, or Fitz, has a case of, I see dead people. Captain Riker tells Fitz that it's just a coincidence. Don't put thought into it. Don't let it drive you crazy. It just happened. The very next day, Fitz goes to visit a wounded soldier named Smitty, and they have a good talk, a decent talk, and right before Fitz is about to leave, he looks upon Smitty's face and he sees the light there. This causes Fitz to faint, and when he comes to, when he's revived, he finds out that Smitty has died. Fitz goes to speak to his two superiors, Captain Riker and Captain Gunther, none of which believe him about being able to see who is about to die. They just feel that Fitz is beginning to crack under the pressures and the horrors of war. The next day during a mission briefing, Fitz looks upon the face of his friend and his superior, Captain Riker, and he sees the light there. And he tries to tell Riker that he's going to die. Don't go on this mission. Riker adamantly tells Fitz that this is not going to happen. Get out of your head. Stop thinking these things. Which causes Fitz to storm out of the tent. He's upset that his friend is not going to listen to him and that there's nothing he can do about it. While alone in his tent, Captain Riker takes out his wallet, which contains pictures of his wife and his family. And he also takes off his wedding ring, leaving it there in the tent, showing us deep down that he does believe his friend Lieutenant Fitzgerald, but there's nothing that he can do about it being a soldier. And he goes on and carries out his mission. Well, what do you think happens? On this mission, Captain Riker does die and Fitz returns back to the briefing tent. He has Riker's dog tags with him and he puts the dog tags with the items that he sees Riker left behind to be sent to his family. Later on, Fitz gets word that he's going to be sent back to division headquarters. And as he's packing up his gear, he takes a glance into his shaving mirror. And there he sees upon his very own face, the light that he was seeing upon others. Blinded by the light. And he knows that he's going to die. He doesn't bother packing up the rest of his gear. The Jeep and the driver are ready to take Fitz back to headquarters and as Fitz gets in the Jeep and looks over at the driver, the Jeep driver tells Fitz to get comfortable. They have a long four hour drive ahead of them. And while Fitz is looking at the face of the Jeep driver, Fitz sees that same light. Fitz only reply to what he sees and what he's been told is, do we? I doubt it. Quite some time later, after Fitz has left back at company A base, Soldiers are sitting around where they hear a far off explosion, meaning that the Jeep has hit a landmine. As the soldiers stare off in the distance and as the camera pans up, that is the end of our episode. Rating the Purple Testament on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the absolute best score that it could get, I give the Purple Testament a 4. If you think this video is worthy of a thumbs up, please feel free to do so. And if you enjoyed the video and you want to see others just like it, 
All you have to do is hit the YouTube logo, which is going to be down in the corner, and you'll get a notification anytime a new video has been uploaded to the channel. Please feel free to check out my other playlists for movies and TV shows that I've reviewed, other Twilight Zone episodes as well. As always, I want to say thank you so much for watching this video, thank you for your time, and thank you for the opportunity to talk about these things that I'm passionate about. I greatly appreciate that. Please be safe, be careful, and I'll talk to you soon.